Outside and inside corners. Upper outside corner. Before installing the membrane, laminated coping flashings must be installed on the outer side of the wall. Use two laminated coping flashings to form the angle. Make a right angle cut on one of the flashing pieces. Fit the flashings into the corner. Place the membrane on the wall. Spot weld the membrane to hold it in place. Cut off the excess portion of the fold. Round off the corners of the membrane. Fold the corner over and spot weld it. First weld the lower part of the membrane to the flashing. Next place the upper part of the membrane. Cut the membrane at an angle and discard the excess portion. Weld the overlap as usual. Then weld the vertical joint. Take special care with the corner area. Outside and inside corners. Lower outside corner. For application on a lower outside corner, place the membrane, shaping it to the corner. Make a few spot welds to attach the membrane to the structure. Round off the corner edges. Cut off the excess membrane. First perform the vertical weld. Next, weld the overlap to the roofing membrane. To ensure water tightness, place a reinforcement piece along the vertex. The quickest way is to place a piece of prefabricated PVC. If this is not available, it can be made using a piece of non-reinforced membrane 1.5 mm thick. Cut a 12 cm diameter piece. Apply heat until it is malleable. Stretch it by hand until the appropriate shape is achieved. Position the piece and secure it with a spot weld on the vertex. Then weld the rest of the piece from the inside outward, making sure that no air stays trapped inside. Apply pressure evenly over the entire surface with a silicone roller. Check the joints and apply liquid PVC for greater precaution. Outside and inside corners. Upper inside corner. Before installing the membrane, attach a laminated coping flashing strip to the outer part of the wall. Make a cut in the flashing and bend it to the angle. Draw a diagonal line along the edge of the overlapping metal. Cut along the line, taking care to not leave burrs or sharp areas. Attach the flashing strip to the support structure using mechanical fasteners. Place the membrane on the wall. Cut along the vertex. Weld the membrane to the flashing strip, making sure that the fasteners are covered. Cut a piece of the same membrane to cover the entire surface. Make a notch in the vertex coinciding with the corner. Make a spot weld in the center to hold the piece in place. Weld from the center outward, avoiding the formation of air pockets. Press down with the silicone roller, taking special care with the joints. To ensure water tightness, Cut a round piece about 12 centimeters in diameter. Apply heat until the PVC is malleable. Stretch it by hand until it fits the shape of the corner angle. Weld the piece in the corner. First apply heat to the center area, applying hand pressure. Then weld the surrounding area, pressing with the roller from the center outwards towards the edge of the piece. Outside and inside corners. Lower inside corner. 
First fit the membrane to the shape of the angle. Cut the fold that forms in the corner and discard the excess. To work comfortably, spot weld the upper wing to hold it in place. Weld the lower wing of the roofing membrane while pressing with the roller. Next, close the fold and weld it from the inside out. Take special care along the vertex. Position the prefabricated corner. The installation is much faster and simpler using prefabricated corners. In the absence of a prefabricated corner, one can be made by hand from non-reinforced membrane. 